we have reached the furthest northern point of New Zealand. We are at Cape Ranga today. It is a very significant place for New Zealand and is equally well known as probably Milford Sound or Rotorua Gazers. And it also has a very big meaning for Maori people because this is the place where the souls of the dead people leave the earth and go to another life. And it's also very important geographically because it's the place where Tasman Sea meets the Pacific Ocean. So you can see the two different colors of water. So everything is absolutely amazing about this place and I can't wait to see it to finally be here. a lighthouse anymore but it's still here because it's so well placed in this landscape that you can't imagine the northern point without this lighthouse anymore <laughs> So we just visited Cape Rain Lighthouse and uh, we decided to take another track over here which starts approximately from where Lighthouse is and it takes 45 minutes to get to this desert beach and it looks so epic, you're like in a valley surrounded by hills and powerful ocean either with a bus tour or driving your own car. Uh, the buses start to arrive approximately after 12 p.m. So if you're driving yourself, be sure you're here before the buses arrive because it's so quiet. There are literally like two people walking around the lighthouse, but when the buses are here, it's super crowded. On the way back from Cape Reina, there is another amazing tourist attraction. It's the Paki Giant Sand Dunes. And this is just an amazing place. You can rent a sandboard and fly it from um, hills of sand, or you can just walk over here. It's like being on another planet. It's just sand everywhere, and it's so nice to walk here. And uh, what is more surprising, you can notice that there is a lot of wind over here, but sand is not going towards your face, it doesn't come to your eyes or something, so it's, it's quite comfy actually to walk around here and if you're going to Cape Reina just make sure to tick this box off as well. Beach is also a highway so you basically can turn from the regular highway drive over here and then follow all the way to the Cape Reina so it's a very very weird kind of feeling when you drive on a beach uh, but it's quite safe if you have four-wheel drive like we have with this car it's very reliable so it's easy to drive over here and 
like the landscape is just so amazing. Reina, we decided to stop at uh, Manganui because here you can find the world famous fish and chips from the local fish shop so we just grabbed our dinner and we're moving to another adventure um, in Bay of Islands so this is the end of this video thanks for watching and if you like this video make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys very soon bye bye mm -hmm.